Hello, my name is Colin Campbell. I'm with Polygon. You're looking at Awkward Dimensions Redux. It's a game about dreams. It's developed by a Denver-based high school student called Stephen Harmon. Uh, he wanted to record the dreams that were most vivid to him and recreate them uh, as a video game. Dreams obviously are highly personal, they're perplexing, they invite interpretation and yet they often resist understanding, certainly with other people and even with our own dreams. And I, and I suppose this game succeeds in the, in, in the sense that it is highly personal, it is perplexing, uh, it's a scattering of ideas that defy logic and even comprehension. Uh, it's a walking simulation, it lasts maybe an hour or so, it features 18 short sections. Uh, interaction is fairly limited, you can walk around, you can jump, you can inspect things, you can pick stuff up. There are some basic puzzles. There are also sections in which the player, frankly, has almost no control at all. Uh, Stephen told me that he, uh, he's a student that is learning theater, and he's learning psychology, and those are, things, those are things that interest him, and he wanted to find a way to stage his dreams, to explore them, and to try to find meaning in them, and also to kind of have a conversation with other people through the medium of video games. He believes that you know video games are kind of the best way to uh, explore one's own dreams. And it's true that when you talk to other people about their dreams, it's not very interesting. And yet there is something interesting and, and intriguing about spending some time inside this person's dream world. Some of the sections are a tiny bit video gamey, but I, I suppose in a sense, video games and dreams can be sort of like each other. You know, there's one section where you come across a, 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 a busy road and I thought, oh, this is kind of like a frogger thing. And there's another section where you have to navigate a maze, a 3D maze, which is a very common idea in video games. But also those things are common in dreams as well you know they represent anxieties and they represent problems that we have in our own lives and video game developers have kind of taken that stuff and turned them into resolvable anxieties that the pleasure we get out of games is that you can resolve these problems whereas in dreams that isn't always the case um, there are some fairly obvious inspirations I think when you look at this game you think about some of the first person arty games that we've seen over the past uh, few years like the beginner's guide or even but far back as 30 flights of loving uh, it uses some of the cinema techniques that we recently saw in Virginia I think it reminds me mostly of that dragon cancer which also relied a lot on metaphor to make its point although the production values and I think it doesn't reach the emotional levels of that game which after all was about a child um, living through terminal cancer but it is an interesting game and i think that if you're uh, if you're sufficiently tolerant of the sort of teenage angstiness that comes through then there is something here to enjoy uh, you know it's a game that explores uh, disorientation which obviously is is a is something that uh, that is common to dreamers and I think to young people as well. It also, as you can see in this final part of the game that I'm showing here, it also deals with the particular problems of, of uh, you know, not to sound too condescending, but of you know, young love and relationships and the intensity of those things uh, when you're young. So uh, a lot of people who you know don't like arty games or don't like games in which you don't have to do all that much except walk around are not going to like this. It's definitely for those of you who enjoy narrative games, personal games, arty games for want of a better description. Awkward Dimensions Redux is out on Steam on October 21st.